Jubilations and tears of joy run through the eyes of parents, friends, and relatives of 27 freed abducted students of Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, Afaka Kaduna State, as they reunite with parents, friends, and relatives. The students say they have forgiven their abductors after spending 57 days in captivity. This report is presented from our studio. The students reunite with their parents at the school, accompanied by Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs and Commissioner of Police. Addressing parents and the free students, Commissioner of Police Umar Muri says the students arrived at the police headquarters and the victims were admitted immediately at the police clinic for evaluation and resuscitation. And uh, we continue to do our level best to ensure everybody is cleared and by extension the entire country at large. Well, we have, we, have, we, have, we have started working seriously on on, on the issue of Greenfield, and by the grace of God, soon you hear a good news from us. Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs Samuel Aruan asked the general public to unite together against banditry and other criminal activities, regardless of faith, ethnicity, and other differences. The duty of government is security and to also ensure law and order. As to strategy, we will keep all our cards very close to our chest. What's the most important thing? They are back. They have reunited with their families. He admonished the students that the unfortunate experience they went through should not deter them from aspiring higher in their educational careers, but to see it as turn around to greatness. Let the student look at this as a turning point. Turning point is when you turn something that is negative into positive. Turning point is when you turn a challenge from being negative to something that is positive. Let them pursue their education from here. Let them rise to the top of life. Some parents and the school provost Usman Mohammed called on government to intensify security in the school and to protect citizens in the state. The management says they will engage stakeholders to beef security before students will resume back to session. All the academic activities, after satisfying that all the necessary precautionary measures have taken place, they are going to resume their activities as soon as possible because they were about to start the exam, uh, exam before the incidents happened. They were got in our life. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yes. So we are allowed to continue studying here? Yes. Uh, let, me face the camera. let me face the camera. When they put security, I will allow to Some of the students narrate their ugly experiences in captivity. We don't eat, we don't drink. Rather, beating and insult, that's all. I'm thinking, how are they feeling? So I even thought maybe my mom can, would pass away because of the shock, but I thank God. Who was cooking for you? Yeah. Where were you getting the food? Yeah. Where were you Where were you in How do you know my name? The first mandate of any executive, chief executive of every state is to protect life and property. Uh, second, the institutions be secured. The future of our youth is in danger. When they can no longer be safe going to school, then there is problem. What we are seeing today, we may call them Fulani bandits, we may call them anything, but the, 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 the simple problem of this is lack of education. There is no official statement to confirm if ransom was paid to secure their release. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.